when the guru, when he took him under water, right? When he put him under the water and he brought him up, he wasn't saying like, this is a behavior, y'all. He wasn't saying if you do this and you do that and you do this and you do that, you'll be successful. No, what he was saying to him was, this is a mentality. Like, you got to live this. You got to eat this. You got every single thing you do. It's a mentality. It's a, okay, so what do I mean? Because I got to get you to go from behavior to mentality because I told you before, the great, what, I've studied great people, millionaires and billionaires and people who succeed in what they do. And I realized that the difference is only, it's not a behavior. It's not something that they do. It's not something that they get to when they want to. It's not a feeling. Some of y'all, for real, you still on feelings. When you feel like doing it, you do it. When you don't feel like doing it, you don't. And so for you, it's a feeling, right? It's a feeling. For them, it's a mentality. It's a way of life. It's what they eat. It's what they sleep. It's what they drink. It's who they are. It possesses them. And the guru was telling him, when you want, when it went mentally, you want it in your spirit, in your soul. When you want it, it will happen. So number one, it's not a behavior. Behavior is this. New Year's, you're going to lose this much weight. You're going you're gonna to get the six pack, right? You're going to do this. You're going to do that. And you're good in January. And by February, you start slowing down. And by March, you ain't doing it no more. Why? Because it was a behavior. If it was the way you thought, if it was here, it would be on a whole other level. So do me a huge favor. Understand, it's not, a, it's not a cute thing. It's not a cute thing. It is a way of life. It's got to possess everything you do. It's got to own you. You understand what I'm telling you? Number two, listen to me very closely. When you get to this point, you don't count the cost. Now, I got mamas calling me, my baby ain't going to sleep. Like, my baby's staying up 24 hours. My baby, listen to me, this ain't for the weak and the uncommitted, okay? So, mama, if they need to cut it off, tell them to cut off when you want to succeed. It. Don't watch it no more. But, cause, but mama, it ain't no middle ground, mama. You either here or you're there. It's no middle ground. And so what I'm telling you is that you can't count the cost. You, when, you, when, you, when you want something bad, you can't count the cost. Because if you count the cost and you see how much it costs, you might quit. You might give up. So you got to go in knowing that I don't count the cost. I do as many push-ups as it takes, as many sit-ups as it takes, as many reps as it takes. I study as long as it takes. I pay whatever the price is. Why? Because if I start counting the cost, I might quit. I might give up. I might surrender. Don't count the cost. You don't count the cost on this one. This one is, I, listen to me, you don't count how many breaths you take. You don't count it. You get to a point where you don't count it. You just do whatever it takes to get whatever you want. Okay, I'm gonna say it again because you gotta catch what I said. You don't count the cost on this one. You don't count the cost on this one. You, you just do what you gotta do on this one. And then you look back when it's all over and you see the rewards. You look back and you see the accomplishments. You don't count it. You just look back and you see that you succeeded. You hear me in the last one. I wanna read this one to you because I don't wanna mess it up. Somebody sent it to me this deep. It says, only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Are you hearing me? Only those who are willing to risk going too far can possibly find out how far one can go. Look, you gotta want it as bad as you want to be. And you can go further than you think. Listen to me, you in three and you got six years. But you're accustomed to three, you're accustomed to four. I challenge you, I challenge you to push it to all the gears you got. Give it everything you got. Listen to me, go, go. I, you think I thought I was gonna write a book? Do you think I thought I was gonna be an author? Do you think I thought I was gonna be marching this year with a PhD? Do you, do you think I thought I would be traveling the world, NFL, NBA? Do you think I thought I would be doing this as a high school dropout, as somebody that was home? Do you think I thought I would go this far? But I pushed it, I said, I wanna see how far I can go. I wanna see what I can accomplish. I wanna see what I can do, what I can be, what I can have. I wanna see. I don't want to see what I think I can do. I don't want to see what I think is possible. I want to see what my life would look like if I didn't count the cost. And if I was willing to go further than anybody else was willing to do. If I had the mentality that Eric, you got to win it. you got to win it as bad as you want to see. And I woke up and here I am. And so listen to me, this ain't no gimmick. You can have it, you can be it, you can do it. But listen to me, I ain't playing. you got to win it as bad as you want to breathe.